Okay, we'll continue on here with Nebraska senior center Kate Kane, who earlier this week was named to the watch list for the Naismith National Defensive Player of the Year Awards night. Kate had her 15th career double-double, 16 points, 10 rebounds, and six block shots. If you have a question for Kate Kane, please just enter it in the chat, and I will call on you in order. We'll get started here with Jacob Vanderford from Huskers Illustrated. Hey, Kate. Um, so in talking about defense, you guys had 10 blocks tonight, and you held the Badgers to 34% shooting. Um, can you just kind of elaborate about um, your defense and what you guys take pride in on that end of the floor? I think in general, like, there have been a lot of games that we've won just through our defense. We have a lot of people who just play the ball hard, whether it's Sammy just with pressuring the ball up the floor. I know Bella had a monster block today, which I didn't even tell her about, but like it was insane. I think we just know that in order to win these games, we really do have to play well on the defensive end. Kate, how much does having Bella in there with you at different times help take the pressure off you at the back, knowing you have another shot blocker and a kind of a straight up defender on your backside? No, I love playing with Bella, like genuinely love playing with Bella, just knowing that she's there to block whoever else comes down, that if I come over to help, that she'll have my back. It's just, it's really like a comforting feeling to be able to play with Bella. We have fun. Next question, Kevin Suits from 1011. Hi Kate, 84 points tonight. That's the second highest total for you, uh, for the team this season. Did you expect this to be a, a game in which you guys could put up a high number like that? Um, I think going into it, obviously we all we have capable scores and we have people who can consistently bring it every game. Like there's not really many people on my team who I would just say is like a liability on offense. Like we have scores, so it's not necessarily I'm surprised that we can score this much. It just depends on who really like shows up on the offensive end from day to day. So I'm not too surprised, but it was definitely good to have a lot of people hitting their shots and stuff like that today. Kate, with Izzy out, um, Annika Stewart's had to play a greater role inside, I think especially in the last two games because of foul trouble for you and Bella. Talk about um, maybe the double-figure offensive performances for Annika the past two games, but also maybe a little bit more about her defense to tonight and the last game, which I think that's coming along as well. Yeah, definitely Ani has been – Ani works hard all the time. She's day in, day out. She's in the gym working with the coaches on both offense on the offensive end and the defensive end. So it's really good to just see her hard work pay off. She has she works so hard and just the strides that she's made, especially defensively, because we all saw first couple games coming in, like you knew that she was such a threat on the offensive end. But just seeing how she's been able to step up and just increase her awareness and just her capabilities on defense has been huge for us and I'm really proud of her. Next question, Derek Peterson from Hale Varsity. Hey, Kate, uh, two games now for Michael. What has she added uh, to your guys' rotation? Michael adds a lot, obviously, other than just depth and bodies, which is something we needed. But Michael is just such a hard worker on the defensive end, especially. Like, we know that she's going to play hard throughout every possession and just be able to guard whoever we put her on. And we could show that with the Illinois game, last game, where she got that really big steal and even today she's always on the floor and she also I think and I obviously I notice it especially but she really is good at getting the ball inside which I appreciate but um, she's able to help just with the ball movement and things like that and I feel like as she gets more comfortable playing with everyone fully and just knowing the sets more fully because now that she's back full I think it'll be really really good just to have her on the court. Jacob Vanderford, Huskers Illustrated. Um, can you talk a little bit about uh, Kendall Coley's play tonight um, and just kind of her progression? She got some of her first action tonight. So I was just wondering um, what you've seen from her in practice um, and how that's kind of translated to an in-game experience. Um, I think that Kendall, for her first couple minutes playing, was just she's, – she's had a lot of information thrown at her this past week, and not just basketball-wise, like – if you really think about it, if you think of somebody who is in high school and all of a sudden it's like, oh, no, we're going to go to college, 
about six months early. You're going to have to learn all these sets. You're going to have to start school. She just started college classes for the first time. She has a lot on her plate. So just the fact that she went in and was able to execute and that one shot that she took was so close. The entire bench was up, just really excited for her. But I think just with time and just more repetition, she's really going to be able to start making an impact and just but again, it will take some time because we have, I think as Coach Williams said, like 60 sets. We have a lot of sets and concepts that she needs to just get adjusted to. And for a weekend, she's doing real well. Any other questions for Kate Kane? All right, if we have no further questions, we'll take another break and we'll have Bella Cravens in in a moment. Thank you.